Bradford. Well, football fans are gearing up for the big game this weekend, and part of those plans likely include assembling a feast. That is where our next guest comes in. Hugh Magnum is the pitmaster and co-founder of Mighty Quinn's Barbecue, and he joins us live this morning to share a tasty side dish that everyone can make at home, a yummy broccoli slaw. Hello, chef. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me on. You look fantastic in your denim shirt. I just want to remind viewers at home, you can scan the QR co code right there on the screen to check out the recipe right now as we're going along with it. Okay, the business of the day. First of all, if this is your home kitchen, I want to be invited over because it looks lovely. It's my dining room, but yes, you're invited even, over anytime. Thank you. Can. Even better. Can we can we start <laughs> with a little history lesson on Mighty Quinn's Barbecue? I believe it started here in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, we started at Smorgasburg in Brooklyn in 2011. Uh, I had been smoking, you know, meat long before that, but that was the inception of the brand. And then, uh, you know, my wife and I had started that. And then along with my partners, Misha, who is my stepbrother, and uh, Christos Gormos, who is his brother-in-law, uh, we opened the first Mighty Quinns in the East Village. Uh, it'll be 10 years this coming December. 10 years ago, we opened that restaurant. And um, it's been a crazy ride ever since. We're currently, we have 13... Uh, corporate locations, we're franchising, we've got two opening up uh, in the next few weeks uh, in Union, New Jersey, and in Forest Hills as well. And by the end of the year, we'll be close to 20 locations. I mean, the, you're putting the mighty in mighty Quins, if I if I dare <laughs> say. Trying. So we are trying. <laughs> you're trying and succeeding. I, it's you know your industry is tough. I do not uh, I do not take that for granted. So it's amazing to see what you're doing in the last 10 years. I keep, I want to grab this broccoli slaw and just chug it because I know how delicious it is. But before we get to that, do you have any quick tips for folks who are going to do some barbecue at home for the big game? Yeah, you know, I, I, in my opinion for the game, like what you want to do is have food that you can share and you can take small bites of. So you don't necessarily have to have a huge plate of one thing. So if it's meat that you're doing, you know, have a lot of slider buns. So you can have various different things to taste and also food that you can hold with your hand is yes. great. So wings, obviously, which is a huge favorite of everybody's, you know, spare ribs, things that are bite-sized and things that can also be shared and side dishes. Side dishes are huge. Obviously, we're doing the broccoli here today, but, you know, the way you can dress your plate up and be kind of food promiscuous is that you can have a few different meat options and a few different salad options so a bunch of people can be fed but also enjoy a bunch of different foods. Fill their plate multiple times without that being one, you know, just one mass right. thing. Right. I, I do love that you just, I'm going to add that to my lexicon, food promiscuous. I'm going to tell my boyfriend, you know? I'm not flirting. I'm just being food <laughs> promiscuous. Okay, so barbecue. Okay, so make a little, I like that, hand, finger food, a hand food, something that you have one yes. hand free, one hand to, to, to gobble away. Okay, now let's get on to this broccoli slaw. We have some here in the studio, and my teammates, OG and Hazel, have their own. Uh, so first, before tell us tell us why you like this for a home tailgating side dish. Because my floor crew, they're like broccoli for the for the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? And I said, heed. This is going to be delicious. So look, you know, broccoli is, is the healthy part of the salad. But we we are a barbecue place, and and obviously on Super Bowl Sunday, everyone's kind of splurging a bit. Um, so the broccoli is the healthy vehicle for all of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So if we're talking about a buttermilk dressing, we're talking about red onions, cranberries, almonds. I throw in a little chili flake just for the stuff at home. Mm -hmm. But then there's the bacon and bacon fat. And I mean, come on, who doesn't love bacon? So bacon <laughs> makes, you know, it, basically this is a vehicle for, for bacon. And the same <laughs> way that french fries are a vehicle for your ketchup, right, that's right. this is a vehicle rule for the bacon. Um, Q, the you said bacon it, you know, and a bunch of heads just nodded. They just went, okay, now, now we're listening. All right. I had you in bacon. I had you bacon. <laughs> okay, so go through. You have your broccoli. You have your bacon. So what yeah, else? Yep. Literally, broccoli, I mean, this is so easy to assemble. You know, we have broccoli. You can, you know, dice it up. What we actually do, because I hate waste, is you use the broccoli florets, which you can cut into bits, but then you take the stems, and you can chop the stems Love up that. as well, which gives you good textural notes, good crunch, but then you're not wasting anything. Now, did um, you steam them, or is this just raw broccoli? It is raw. If you would prefer to, to do a steam to get it a little softer, that's fine. But texturally speaking, the raw broccoli has a really nice crunch. I agree. And once you dress it and it sits for a little bit, it also wilts a little bit as well. Okay. Um, bacon, just going to toss it in. Red onions, mm -hmm. just tossing it in. 
toasted almonds, which you can, you know, toast them. You can buy toasted almonds. You can buy whatever version you want, but this is, they're so easy to toast. Um, and they add a nice crunch. Cranberries, who doesn't love a little sweet. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of crushed red pepper just because I Why like not? my things a little spicy. I like it. Uh, Look at that pepper mill. Fancy pepper mill. Yeah, pepper mill. Really I awesome like that. All right. Yes. We don't, we don't mess around here. And uh, a little pinch of kosher salt. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some buttermilk dressing. And one of the keys to a dressing is if you, whether you want to make a buttermilk dressing or you want to buy one, mm -hmm. when you're cooking your bacon, Please heat this morning when you're cooking your bacon. Save some of the fat and pour that fat into the dressing, and that gives you like this extra bacon bomb in the salad. Oh, I like it. Yep, and that so makes I'm just, it all... just going to toss that all together. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You literally do this. You can do it up to you know a day ahead, but ideally just do it morning of the game. Mm -hmm. Let it sit, refrigerate it, and then you've got your perfect salad. You've got it's the done. broccoli Super slaw. Easy. I know. Yeah. And in full disclosure, as you were cook assembling it, I was chowing down. It is delicious. Fantastic. I can hear you crunching in my ear. I um, mean, I am like an animal over here. Hugh, do you have a, do you have a favorite team for Sunday? I'm going to go with the Bengals, to be honest with okay. you. Um, I'm actually born and raised in Los Angeles, but I, I always kind of want to go for a team that it has slight underdog. Okay. And I feel like the Bengals, for me, like, why not Cincinnati, you know? Why not? Why not? Right? Fantastic. Yeah, and one thing I would just like to make everyone aware of is we are doing our Super Bowl packages at Mighty Quinn's. And today at 5 p.m. is the cutoff for pre-order. So if anyone's watching and you want to get a package, which is literally, it's, it's six, pound of brisket, pound of pulled pork, a full rack of ribs, and two quarts of sides for 110 bucks. Six people fed. It's pretty amazing. 5 p.m. is your cutoff. So please, please, please go I, to MightyQuinn'sBBQ.com. Can I, can I say I know you? <laughs> yes, okay, I will deliver it. Okay, good. You, thank you so much. You've been such a pleasure to it. see this morning. And of course, check Thanks out so my, absolutely check out Mighty Quinn's website uh, there. And if you want to see if you if you want to see that delicious food that they have to offer this weekend, or check out one of their locations across the city. Ooh, so oh good. Gosh. Did you girls like it? Yes, it's really good. And I probably have broccoli in my teeth. That's okay. You don't. I